Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. I just wanted to drop a short video on you guys today to say happy Thanksgiving. I'm out shooting some slugs out of the youth model Remington 870 20 gauge. But that's just a, just a side note. The, the main purpose of the video is to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. I hope that each and every one of you can find something to be thankful for today whether it's just having a roof over your head or, or maybe having some family members over that you haven't saw in a long time, or, or maybe you're out visiting family that you haven't saw in a while. I know growing up, for me, we, we lived in a very poor household. We actually, we didn't have any indoor plumbing, even when I was in high school, and this was early to mid 90s, you know? So uh, nearly everybody had indoor plumbing then, or at least everybody that we knew. But we got our water from a, a small creek that ran down the hill beside our house. And we, we actually had a well on the property, but the well was so tainted, you couldn't even wash clothes in it. It would turn your, your clothes orange. I remember my mom trying to wash clothes and it would turn the clothes orange. So we got all of our water from the creek. And I'm sure a lot of people probably looked at us and, and thought, you know, what do those people have to be thankful for? But that's not how we saw it. I don't remember any of my childhood as being, you know, this awful place or having this terrible time. And I think it was because of my parents' outlook on everything. They were always thankful. You know, we'd have a, a meal on Thanksgiving and we weren't discussing how the neighbors had indoor plumbing or had cable television and we, could, we didn't have any of that sort of thing. You know, it was never like that. We were always thankful for the roof over our head and that sort of thing. And we always realized that there were people worse off than us. Uh, we'd think about the homeless, you know, that didn't even have a roof over their head. So that's just how I was raised. And I, I think it made a big impact on the way I view things in the world today. Of course, I've come a long way, bought my own little piece of property here. And of course, we, we definitely have indoor plumbing and a lot of modern, uh, conveniences so I've come a long way but I, I'll never forget the way I was raised and I don't look at it as hard times I'm thankful for the way that I was raised and again I, I'm trying to instill those same qualities into my children I try not to complain in front of them I try not to be jealous of what somebody else has or, or, or what I don't have so hopefully you know that's something that I can pass on to them as well but anyway just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving we're going to shoot these jugs here. I've got some jugs of water set up and try to catch one of these 20 gauge slugs. So let's take a look at what I've got here and we'll go ahead and get that done. Okay, so this is the Remington 870 Express 20 gauge youth model. I prefer the name compact model since I'm not a youth anymore. And the slugs we're shooting today are these Winchester Super X three quarter ounce slugs. On the box, it rates these at 1600 feet per second now out of this 21 inch barrel i'm only getting 1490 feet per second at the muzzle or 10 feet from the muzzle i know that because i've done a lot of chronograph work with these slugs and these slugs fall off very quickly you can see the trajectory on the box here shows that if you're zeroed at 50 yards you're going to be about a foot low at 125 yards and that's because these have the ballistic coefficient of a Reese's peanut butter cup. They really shed velocity quick. In fact, even though I'm getting 1,490 feet per second at 10 feet from the muzzle over my chronograph, by the time I'm out to 50 yards, these have already gone transonic, less than the speed of sound that quickly. So I'm going to shoot one here into these water jugs from about 15 or 20 feet away and see if we can't, can't catch one of these. Should, it should dump energy very quickly as shotgun slugs do. I don't know how many we'll get through, but there's one way to find out. Let's do it. See if I can line this shot up. Okay, so I don't know what happened. I think I took a bad shot. We blew up two water jugs, ripped the side out of a third one, and then 
I don't know where our slug went, but it didn't continue on into the other jugs here. And it's not in this jug. So, you know what I'm thankful for? I'm thankful we've got five jugs left and we can try this again. All right, I'm gonna try to do a better job of lining this shot up. And I think we did the same thing again. Well, pretty much the same thing happened again. Made it to the fourth jug here, and it looks like it just grazed it. So, thought I was hitting those pretty well in the center. I think those slugs are hitting the water and kind of flattening out and then veering off. But that's okay. I could have spent this morning doing something far less enjoyable. So, I'm just glad to be out here. Glad to be having fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk with y'all again soon.